Hey, what's up, DCS crew? Uh, it's Carlos back at it today. We are looking at a Civivi. Now, um, I'm sure that by now every YouTube channel has done a review from one time or another of a Wii or a Civivi knife. And you're probably wondering why, what the hell is so big about this company? Well, the truth is they just, they make good shit, man. <laughs> you know, they're a Chinese company and they make good shit. They're basically given the gold standard for um, all of the other Chinese companies that are pumping out quality products uh, and EDC gear uh, out of, uh, you know, China into the knife market, okay? And um, this particular model is no exception. Um, just to kind of give you a heads up as to what I'm currently carrying from CVV, uh, I have the, uh, the Chronic, which is uh, the... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is 9CR 18 MOV steel, uh, blue G10, okay? And then there is the CVV Backlash, which I like to call the Blacklash. This is actually a version that you don't see very often. It's a carbon fiber G10 and the uh, handles with um, a black wash uh, kind of finish. So it's it's basically what I like to call the black lash. okay? Now, um, this is actually one of my favorite CVV models for me to EDC. It hits a lot of of uh, points that I look for. It checks a lot of boxes that I'm looking for. But I may have found something that is going to knock it out of the pocket. And it's this guy right here. This is the Civivi Dogma. Okay, blue G10 handle, uh, gray stainless steel liners. It's a satin finish D2 blade. And there's a whole lot to love about this guy. Will it be able to unseat the backlash, in my opinion, as the best EDC-friendly uh, Civivi knife? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. So let me go ahead and get this CVV box out of the way because you don't want to see the knife. You, I mean, you don't want to see the box. You want to see the actual knife, right? <laughs> All right, so this is the CVV Dogma. It is a liner lock. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and just go ahead and show just a quick uh, 360 of it. Uh, these are the scales. Very, very nicely done, by the way. Um, I really like how they've gone into the detail and kind of like... Um, added some uh, texturing and patterns inside of the G10. It's very reminiscent of uh, the old school um, slip joint style knives that have um, jigged patterns into the, the bone or the resin that they use on the handle. So that's, that's a nice little nod to the classic look with a, a beautiful uh, Bowie style, kind of like a trailing point. Um, I, I, I'm really feeling that. Plus a nice little hollow grind on this. It really completes the package. Uh, it's a bit larger than, of than you know, uh, the, the majority of the knives I carry because I get a lot of EDC uh, knives that um, are office friendly. So typically you'll see something in the three to the three and a quarter inch uh, mark. This is something that's actually three and a half inches and uh, it, it really works well. Um, it's one of the, you know, it's probably towards the top of the, the the actual length in blade that I'm gonna carry. Um, but I gotta tell you, I'm really, really digging this. It came in a few different colors. I know that they have black. They have green, they have blue, they have a gray. And I can't help but think that they have another one. But in the meantime, I, I just went ahead and I picked up the blue because um, I have been looking for a good quality blue G10 folder. The, clo the closest I've actually gotten was to that of uh, the Chronic. And this was actually in a video I had with the Civivi X-Arch. Um, great little flipper, um, you know, nice deep carry clip. It's got some nice <clears throat> uh, look to it. Very, very nice edge. But um, this is more of a nice, thin EDC office friendly type of design. And then, you know, I want something that I can use for like a casual Friday or at the office or even something on the weekends where I can go ahead and actually use this knife. And uh, I think that this is actually filling the bill really, really nicely. So let me go ahead and just do a quick comparison to a couple of knives that I have out already. So like, as you've already seen, this is the uh, Civivi V Chronic. So you can go ahead and see what size uh, comparison between the two. So let me see if I can line them up here, okay? Now, this is the uh, Civivi Backlash. So you can go ahead and see these two right here. I'm gonna go ahead and line them up from the back. 
So you can see how long the differences are between them. Um, and then let me go ahead and take this one out and put a very similar uh, Bowie style kind of trailing point from a different manufacturer, also from China. And this is a prototype. So this is the first that you're gonna actually see this. This is the Kaiser Jungus, um, this is, or the Jungus. Um, this is a Carlos Elsner design that I have actually been eating, see, eating seeing as well. Um, very nice prototype from Kaiser where they do carry pocket clip too. 154 cm steel. Uh, let me take this guy out here and put this guy here. This is a USA made Elishowitz design from Hogue. This is the DECA stone washed CPM 20 CV blade with the um, MXG deep carry clip and stone washed titanium that I have added on. Cause as you can see, I'm a bit of a deep carry kind of guy. All right, so uh, other than that, um, that's basically it. Um, that's, um, I think that that'll kind of help you distinguish uh, more or less how big this particular knife is. So for overall dimensions, you're looking at seven and three quarters inches. So you're looking at a three and a half inch blade and you are looking at a four and a quarter inch um, uh, handle, which is great. It fits my hands pretty good. Um, you know, from top to bottom, I can get a nice purchase on it and I don't have a problem, you know, um, with the blade itself uh, getting caught right here in the numb of my hands. They have a nice little uh, choil where you can actually rest your finger and, you know, put some work in whether you have to slice something or you have to go ahead and, you know, say wood or wood, that sort of thing, if you're going to be using it outside. Speaking of which, it is a semi stainless steel. Um, it's not 9CR18 that they're using, um, but it's not a super steel either. It is a D2. That seems to be like the de facto standard um, with the budget lines. And that's fine because you're looking at something that you're getting for less than $50. So this is probably, um, you know, a, a direct competition to say, you know, the, um, oh man, the Essie Avispa, the uh, Ontario Rat number one in D2, uh, I, you know, other knives in similar size in that nature, okay? So um, aside from that, this is um, hitting the scales at about 3.2 ounces. That's really good. It's a nice sweet spot considering the fact that it does have stainless steel liners. But if you look closely, let me see if I can grab a light around here. Where's my light? And here's one. All right, let me go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if maybe you can see here you can actually see that they've skeletonized the liners and they've really gone in and I see one, two, three, four, five, six little pockets on the show side. And then even on the, um, the clip side, you can actually see there's a small pocket that they've added there to be able to go ahead and shed whatever weight that they can. So they actually shed, uh, you know, up to, uh, well, I don't know how much they shed, but they were able to go ahead and get it to 3.2 ounces, okay? So um, what I really like about this, well, I gotta tell you, it's on bearings and the action on this is simply phenomenal. I mean, very, very good design. It's drop shut. I have not had a problem whatsoever. Um, it's nice and thin behind the edge and being that it has a, uh, a hollow grind, my God. You guys, I gotta tell you, you, you strop this guy. I've been using the factory edge and just, you know, stropping it. This thing slices like you would not believe. Um, it'll slice through, you know, it's great for cutting vegetables. It's great for, you know, going through meats and that sort of thing. If you're gonna use it as a steak knife, this is great. Just, you know, be sure that uh, you wipe it off and you wash it really well. Um, given that it has that kind of uh, style that where it has that kind of Bowie style kind of trailing point, much like, the Kaiser Youngest, um, you're gonna get a really very natural slicing blade because of the amount of belly that you see from the the base of the, uh, the blade up to the tip, and you're gonna get a nice piercing tip. It is a bit thin towards the top, so I may be a little bit wary of the possibility of that breaking off if you're using it for something really, really tough like prying. I do not recommend any knife that is not specifically made for prying. Um, I know that they have one for with Kershaw that has like kind of like a pry bar type thing at the end, but it's not even a blade. So I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't uh, you would use it for prying anyways. But you know this is this is a knife that was made to kind of make uh, an impression, and I really like. And again, I'm gonna go back to this. Um, I really like how they have the pattern here. They have these two stripes. Maybe you can see it a little bit better in the light here. Um, and 
with those two stripes right under it, you have that kind of jigged pattern. It's where it's kind of like it's it's textured into the micarta, uh, the micarta, the G10, uh, and that's on both sides. You have the deep carry clip that is accessible on both sides, and you have an unobtrusive um, uh, uh, lanyard hole uh, right here to be able to go ahead and attach here, and you have a G10 backspacer towards the bottom of the knife. The um, liner lock is actually very easy uh, you know, to access. It's not been an issue so far. And unlike the uh, CVV Chronic, okay, if you notice, they both have the standard logo in the front, but the CVV Chronic uh, failed in the sense where I kind of felt like it wasn't supposed to have a black screw, a pivot screw. This one actually took advantage of the fact that even though all of the, um, the, the hardware is stainless, it actually has a stainless pivot screw. So I really like that, and I just thought that that was kind of weird uh, about um, this particular model, the Chronic from uh, Civivi. But again, I digress. It's not about that, it's about the Dogma, okay? Now, you're probably wondering what this is for, okay? This isn't exactly a, uh, a very easy to use thumb hole, okay? I think it's there for more aesthetic purposes, but you should be able to, you know, uh, manipulate it with your thumb and open and close it, but um, I found it not to be the easiest. You're basically going to want to use the uh, the flipper tab. It does have jimping on the top, and then it kind of rides into the middle and the bottom. I'll kind of see if I can show it. So you have the jimping right here, and then it actually goes all the way around until you're basically almost at the bottom of the flipper tab. So no matter where you hit it, up here, up here, even, you know, down here, you're gonna be able to get a nice purchase on the uh, flipper tab and always be able to go ahead and uh, flick this out, which I'm gonna be honest, you're not gonna be having a problem doing that because of the fact that it is on bearings and it works extremely well. Another thing that I really like about the, um, the, the CVV line and it, you know, it's also present in the dogma is you're not going to see the name anywhere and you're not going to see CVV, but you know, billboarded anywhere. I like the fact that they always put the C right here on the, uh, the pivot. And obviously I like it because, you know, it's the C and DCS and the fact that my name is Carlos. So, uh, it's really dope. I always, I've always liked that about CVV. <laughs> That's always something that they're going to, that they're going to really, um, uh, always get points from me for. So um, one thing that I think that they could have done a little bit different is, and, and this is a pet peeve that I do have is, and I'm gonna put this up here, is if you look at the deep carry clip, let me go ahead and shine a little bit of light here as well. If you look at the deep carry clip, okay, it stands proud of the G10, but then you look at the screws and they are flush. All right, that, it, it, it's it's not going to be a problem to, to to get it into the pocket. In fact, do I have something here that I can use to kind of illustrate this? Hopefully, I do. Right, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay. All right. So I have this, and I'm going to go ahead and put this here so you can see how deep it rides into the pocket. And as you can see, it rides pretty deep into the pocket. It's not going to be a problem. Come on, adjust, adjust. All right. So this is how it looks when it's inside the pocket. It's pretty damn deep, guys. I, I, I gotta admit, okay? But the only problem is, when you are using something thick like denim, okay, it's always gonna catch on that little area right here that is not fitting flush with the, um, the, the scale. There are a lot of knives that actually have, you know, something like that uh, going on, and I, I don't understand what Civivi's, um I guess what their thought process is when they're coming up with which knives are going to, you know, have the screws that are flush with the the um, the pocket clip and which ones are going to have the pocket clip that's flush with the actual G10. Because if you look at the uh, Civivi Chronic, for example, okay, another one with the deep carry pocket clip, again, it sits proud, but then it also has the screws that are proud as well. So it's going to be a little bit harder to be able to go ahead and put this into jeans than this one. But luckily, this is something that's made for uh, dress pants, so you're gonna have you know a little bit thinner of a, a jean to be able to go ahead and stick through there. But in any case, it's gonna be tougher to uh, put on. It's going to retain, it, the, the retention is gonna be better, but that means it's gonna be harder to take out if you're gonna use those screws. With these, at least they sit flush with the actual pocket clip, even though the pocket clip sits a little proud, you're not gonna have that issue. So um, that's something I did wanna go ahead and point out, all right? Now, um, aside from that, let's see here. Uh, I talked about how, how heavy it was. 
um, I talked about how it was very reminiscent of, you know, the old school knives with that kind of look, the, the bolsters and, and the kind of jigged uh, look here. Um, it kind of reminds me of that case uh, that I have with like jig bone. Um, guys, I, I got to tell you, other than that, I really cannot find anything wrong with this knife. It became perfectly centered. It's very easy to be able to take apart. I mean, it's skeletonized. Um, you know, the detent is very, very good to be able to use the flipper. Um, I don't have a single other thing, I mean, that I want to talk about of this knife that I would say is, is a con. I mean, this is, this is really good. Um, and in fact, I, I, I do have to tell you, um, my backlash, or, you know, I guess you could say the backlash, it really does have, you know, uh, some competition, guys. I mean... This is obviously a little bit cheaper uh, than the um, the Dogma, but you have a bit of a thicker handle, so it's going to fit a little bit more in the hand than, say, the uh, the Dogma. But just the way that this is designed, it kind of feels, it, it kind of goes very naturally into the hand, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you know, it's just, I don't know. I, 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 I like it. I like my Backlash, but I like my Dogma too. The only thing that, okay, yeah, I did find something. The only thing that I will say is right here, you will have jimping, so um, you can kind of choke up a little bit more on this one and use the, uh, the finger, excuse me, the finger choil on the backlash. And you can do that here. You, you do have the finger to be able to go, go ahead and use the finger choil, but there is no jimping here. So it may be a little bit slippery. I have not had that problem just yet. And I mean, I, I up until now, I didn't realize it um, when I was using it. Um, the, Man, this is this would be a tough choice if I had to go ahead and and pick a winner out of these two. So if you have actually watched this video up until now, um, what would be your pick out of these two? I'm 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 really interested in seeing what you all have to say. Would you pick the Civivi Backlash or would you pick the Dogma out of these two? Okay, both of them come in multiple colors. I believe that the dogma is coming out with um a brass and copper variants and i think 154 cm or even cpm 154 if so that's going to be awesome uh they haven't done something like that yet with the backlash and i mean the backlash has been like the staple i think one of these staples of civivi in a very you know for a long time uh with the fact that it has g10 and, and you know carbon fiber variants this being the carbon fiber variant but uh, yeah, um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys have to say. So um, sound off in the comments below. Would you think that this is willing um, to be the new, I guess, um, the new Backlash 2.0? Is this is the Dogma the new Backlash, the new EDC, um, you know, stalwart for the Civivi line now that the Backlash has been in the catalog for a while? Or are you guys true to the Backlash and the Ergos and just the overall feel and use of uh, this particular knife. I'm interested in what you guys have to say guys sound off below in the comments um, Or you know send me your opinions on Instagram or even uh, you know via my website at dailycarrysolutions.com um, And we can go ahead and talk from there. So there you have it guys. That is the Civivi Dogma um, I <laughs> I really really like this knife in fact, once this is done, this is going right back into my pocket guys I gotta tell you um, I am really digging this knife. So um <laughs> I, I, mean, I can't really say anything other than that. So I'm just going to have to end the video on that, right? So um, that being said, um, feel free to shout off in the comments if you have any questions. If you really liked uh, this particular knife, shoot me a message and I will go ahead and provide some links to be able to go ahead and uh, obtain this knife. Uh, you can get it from most of the big box stores, including Blade HQ, um, we'll which will have those uh, special variants coming out with a uh, black or black washed blade with the um, brass or uh, copper scales. Be sure to check that out. Um, that being said, guys, just, just remember, it doesn't matter what kind of CVV you choose. Um, it could be the Chronic, you know, which I love. Great, great office uh, EDC. It could be the Backlash, which it could, you know, this is the EDC stalwart, in my opinion, of CVV's line. Or the new uh, CVV Dogma. Uh, whatever you choose to EDC, just remember, if you EDC, think of DCS, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will hit you up next time with another video, and I hope that you will be there to go ahead and check it out. In the meantime, take care. Peace.